neutral side action, and we're just about set to kick off. It's time for the coin toss now, presented by Coke Zero. Real Coke taste, zero calories. Enjoy everything. Navy will be kicking off, and you can just feel the energy in the air for this opening kickoff. He sends this one deep. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Mississippi State's a team and a program that year in, year out, has got 1,000-yard rushers. Sometimes they've got two, and they've got that huge offensive line, and, you know, you get too worried about them, and sometimes you can overlook the fact that you throw them. It's going to be tough today for this defense. I think they're going to have to take some chances and load this line. It's on the ground. They fall on it. And he's level at the 30. So the offense turns over the pigskin. The ball carrier here was just careless in handling the ball. And a great awareness by the defense to jump on it. So they'll go up to the booth to take a few more looks to see whether or not the ball was fumbled before the ball carrier was down. The coach wants to challenge this one, so we'll take another look at the possible fumble. After review of the play, the ruling on the field is reversed. So after some discussion, the call on the field is reversed. Second down, eight yards to go. Ball on their own 27. The defense has got some of their best pass defenders on the field. They set up in the dime to counter that five wide receiver set. Grabs it and hammered right there. A couple of yards at most on that pass. Well, this kid's just a sophomore. He'll learn how to break those short catches in the big games. In the shotgun and five wideouts. He's to the 40. He's taken down at the 43-yard line. I like how the blitz was identified and then picked up. That's a good test for a quarterback. How does he react in the face of pressure? Defensive coordinator anticipating this five-wide set, and he comes in with his dime package. Makes the grab and steps out right away. A nice-looking play that time. Well, the defense was blitzing here, and again, great recognition by the quarterback to find the hot receiver. Steps out of bounds at the 33. And a nice catch there before he stepped out of bounds. Everybody was fooled on that one. Hey, that was a good job here by the quarterback. That could have play fake as a real weapon against an aggressive defense like this. scramble down he can't get away from the pressure the defenders played the snap count perfectly they found the path into the backfield and didn't let the quarterback get away defense looking for another sack in the second down and long situation incomplete trying to get it to his receiver that's a miscommunication between a quarterback and a wide receiver right there they need to get their signal straight this is the eighth play of this drive And they pick up the first down with a pass to the tight end. It's easy to forget about the tight end sometimes coming off the line. But you always have to watch this guy because he's certainly capable of making big plays. They'll go Brown. Touchdown, Mississippi State. Very impressive run by the halfback to find the end zone. Good play call here by the offense coordinator. He realizes when you get down into the red zone and you have a halfback like this, just give him the ball and let him find his way into the end zone. He splits the uprights with the extra point. A nice nine play, 73-yard drive, and that's good for a touchdown. Brad, how about the guys up front? The offensive line giving the quarterback plenty of time to be able to read the defense and make the right throw. So the score now, 7-0. 
And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. and the quarterback keeper. Play action. Loose football. It's recovered. a big break for this defense. You know, this offense just can't afford to be getting hit with the turnover buck. They need to hold on to the football. Well, the offense heading back out onto the field after that kick, hoping to turn this drive into another touchdown. Well, it's one thing to have speed. It's another thing to have an idea of what you're doing and how to attack a defense. And right now, these wide receivers clearly have done an outstanding job of being able to make their reads and getting out of their breaks, and the quarterback put the ball right on the move. They call it a catch, but the boots signal down to the referee that they'd like to take another peek at this. Man, as I see this play again, it really looks like he made the correct call on the field. After review the play, the ruling on the field stands. So after some discussion, the call on the field stands. From the 27-yard line, first down, Mississippi State is up seven. And they make the stop right around the 18-yard line. That makes it second and two. Nice run there as they work the outside. So the option play works as designed, and the offense picks up a first down. Good read by the quarterback. He made a quick pitch off to the running back, and they came away with a pretty good game. Gives it off. Touchdown, Bulldogs. converts the extra point. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He just drills this one. He's to the 20. He makes it out to maybe the 20-yard line. The Bulldogs really came prepared to play defense today, and the plan is working. Well, so far in this game, you've got to tip your cap to the defensive coordinator. He has clearly done a very good job of getting his team ready to play, and they have done a nice job of slowing down this very explosive offense. They need to show a little giddy-up now, because if they don't start eating into this deficit, they could easily fall out of the game. the 16-yard line. From their own 16-yard line. Second down. Brought down at the 14-yard line. it fly can't make the grab and they're gonna have to bring on the punt team it's a good hold by the defense on third down now their punt returner will get a chance to make something happen tackle the 
the 7-yard line. Mississippi State's offense right now, I think all you can call is scary. Well, they can attack you in so many different ways. They have a quarterback right now that's getting the ball out of his hands and making great decisions, and they have playmakers all over the field. This offense is tough to stop. The offense will come out again hoping to have similar results as their last drive. Well, I think this defense has got to do something because right now the quarterback is in such a good rhythm that you've got to do something to try to get him out of it. I would suggest trying to bring more pressure. Try to come up with an exotic blitz look to try to get him on his heels as opposed to being the aggressor and attacking the defense. And he's tackled after positive yardage. That makes it first and ten. Here we go. Ready, oh, Draw play. He's pushed out of bounds around the 25-yard line. That's a team of ten on the play. First down. Let's go. Let's go. And he's tackled at the 12. Tackled after a decent pickup. That makes it second and six. Tackle made at the five-yard line. That's good for a gain of three yards. That makes it third down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. They'll bring him down at the nine-yard line. That's not going to keep the drive going. Good, solid defense there to force them into a fourth down situation. Kicks up, and it's through the uprights. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Nice kick, plenty of distance. He's to the 20. He's taken down at the 24. The Bulldogs are looking downright scary on defense so far, Irby. They are flying around as a group right now, completely aware of what this offense is trying to do and dismantling them every single time on every single play. They couldn't get anything going on that last drive. They've been beaten soundly on both sides of the ball, and we haven't even gotten to the second quarter. He's to the 40. Gets out to around the 48. Things starting to get out of hand here as we head to the second quarter. 17 to nothing, Mississippi State. And we're back for more action here in quarter number two. Makes it to the 41. Six-yard line. That's a game of three on the way. That'll bring up 36. He's taken down at the 34-yard line. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. Once you're set, you've got to stay that way. The slightest flinch is going to be enough to draw the flag. So they're going to go for it here. Pulls it in, and he's in the open field. That's a great tackle at the 28-yard line. And he hits 
hits him hard at the 25. A gain of three yards by the fullback. Makes the catch and look out. He steps out at the 21 yard line. That's a deep four. And he's taken down at the 13 yard line. Pitches it, and they get him in the backfield for a loss. Those linebackers do a great job of stopping the run, but they need to be careful of the play-action pass. You can easily get fooled and give up some big yards through the air. And this is the 11th play of the current drive. He's gobbled up in the backfield. Third down at 15. Ball on the 18. Throws it in a hurry. And he's tackled right away. Gain of 14 yards. That makes it fourth and inches. Got to be careful of a pass play with this defense. Touchdown, midshipman. Great play there to pick up six points. Yeah, this guy is tough in medium yardage situations. Everybody's thinking the quarterback is going to keep it, and the big fella makes his way into the end zone. And he hits the PAT. Navy to kick. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. It was a pretty one-sided first quarter, but I wouldn't be surprised if things changed in a big way before halftime. The ball pops free. Scooped up by the offense. They'll knock him down for a loss. So it's second down and 13 yards to go following that quarterback sack. And they make the stop at the 40-yard line. Makes it to the 47. Dumps it complete over the middle. And down he goes around the 22 yard line. Number eight makes the set at the 22 yard line. First down. Scrambling around. Dives for extra yardage. yard line. That makes it seven. 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 Seven.
it up for the field goal. That brings us fourth and seven. The kick is up, and they tack on three points. They line up to kick this one away. He sends this one deep. He's to the 20. And he's taken down at the 21. You think about the challenges these two teams are facing. On one side, you've got to find a way to keep building on your lead. And on the other side, you've got to find a way to get back in it. Excellent open field tackle. A quarterback's best friend is a receiver he can count on to catch the ball every time he drops back the pass. He's going to try and scramble. There's a very impressive open field tackle. And they get stopped after a short game. Yeah, the quarterback better get these guys to the line of scrimmage and hurry up. It's second and seven. Ball on the 38. Looks for his running back incomplete. He makes it out to maybe the 39-yard line. So the delayed handoff gets maybe a yard. Mississippi State just took their first time out. They get this one off, and it's a beauty. And he's tackled at the 29-yard line. The Bulldogs' game plan is just what we've been seeing through a couple of quarters now. Give this guy the football and let him ram it down the defense's throat and just keep giving it to him until he gets tired or the defense gets tired. Well, the offensive line, I also think, deserves a lot of credit. You know, the, the back is the star. He's been getting most of the yards and most of the attention, but he's not doing it alone. The offensive line's paving the way and opening this thing up, and, and the running back's taking advantage of it. They've had a great first half. And now he's going to improvise. Decides to slide. Well, this is a nice run for the first down by this quarterback. It's first and ten. Ball on the 42. Brought down at about the 39-yard line. First down. Stays in bounds and made a nice catch. From the 21 yard line, first down. Up the middle for a nice game. Gets it, he's in space. Out of bounds at the 10. From the 10 yard line, it's first down. some open field. Touchdown, Mississippi State. Well, a quarterback just showed us he can beat you with his feet as well as his arm. And what a dangerous weapon this guy is. And he adds the extra point. all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Sends it sailing downfield. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. It's still only the second quarter. We've got a lot of football left, but i got to say, this one is teetering on the brink of a blowout. Quick strike to the receiver. And he's tackled right around the 30. Navy's going to have to use their second time out of the half. 
from their own 30-yard line. Second down. He goes downtown. Caught out in the open. Touchdown, Navy! He makes the PAT. Navy is ready to kick it away. And he got all of this one. Great kick. He's to the 20. He's tackled at the 22-yard line. And as the defense comes back out, you can be sure they're thinking about that score they surrendered the last time around. Well, it's one thing to have speed. It's another thing to have an idea of what you're doing and how to attack the defense. And right now, these wide receivers clearly have done an outstanding job in being able to make their reads and getting out of their breaks, and the quarterbacks put the ball right on the money. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Chris Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. Good thing we have these spectacular 1080p high-definition monitors in here. All the better to see these offenses execute with precision in the first half. Yeah, I, we, I like having the old-school black-and-white TVs, too, that show, show a little bit of defense occasionally. But, yeah, offensive plethora. I mean, you want to see uh, how to dial up a clinic on how to play offense? You saw it on both sides in the first half. I'm not, I'm not sure that there was much resistance, but it's always fun to be able to dial a play up and know that it's going to work. And every single time you go, hey, this plays money, this plays money, this plays money, and you saw it. That's going to do it at halftime. Just about ready to start the second half. All right, you finish it up, brother. I'm going to get something in the cafeteria. I'm hungry. But wait, 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 don't leave until you get my order. Brad Kirk, take the second half. All right, Reese and David, thanks, guys. Second half action just about ready to start here. He just drills this one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. He's on the run. Room around the corner. Makes it to the 34. to about the 34-yard line. Laterals back, and he's got space. Knocked out of bounds around the 43-yard line. What a play. Just a simple option play here. The quarterback gives it up, and they get good yardage. Great play. for a loss. Really good job by the big guys up front to use their size and speed and get the runner in the backfield. From the 47-yard line, second down. He scrambled. They bring the quarterback down. When we talked all week with these coaches, and even when we met with them yesterday out at practice, they told us there were some big concerns about facing these defensive ends. They thought that they might be able to hold up against him, maybe get the ball out of the pocket a little bit quicker, maybe use running backs and tight ends to help with double teams on the outside. But right now, whatever they thought they might be able to do, they better get back to that drawing board because these defensive ends are just too quick. Tackle made at the 48. He doesn't want a touchback here. He wants to knock this ball inside the 10. It's away, and it's a booming punt. This punt bounces into the end zone, and this will be a touchback. 
It'll be interesting to see how the action shakes out in this series. Makes it to the 22-yard line. Makes the catch and gets out of bounds. They'll bring him down to the 39 yard line. And he makes it out to about the 41 yard line. That's a game of two in the way. That makes it first and ten. Let's go, let's go. Mike, number 53. Ready, Jeff. Take four, take four. Call it a game of seven yards. That'll bring up second and two. Gains his way to the 43-yard line. From the 43-yard line, first down. They'll bring him down for a loss on the play. Did you see how quickly he was able to get into the backfield and make that tackle? Not many guys that big can move that fast. This is the eighth play of this drive. Steps out of bounds at about the 43-yard line. Only three yards there on the throw. It was a nice catch by the sophomore, but it was well played by the defense to stop him for a minimal gain. He makes the catch and has a first down. Completes another one. Complete. He's got room. And he's level at the 17. That's a game of 10 on the play. That makes it first and 10. Mike, number 53. Mike, number 53. Just throws this one away. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. Laterals back. He's taken down right around the eight-yard line. That's good for a They bring him down in the backfield. That's not going to keep the drive going. Good, solid defense there to force him into a fourth down situation. They'll line up for the field goal, and this is nothing more than a chip shot. Kicks away, and the field goal is good. Mississippi State is lining up to kick this one off. Excellent kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Their last drive resulted in a punt, so let's see if they can put together something a little more promising here. Down two possessions. This offense has to step up and capitalize on this possession. He's to the 40. He's tackled at the 36. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. 
That's good for a gain of seven yards. That'll bring up second and three. Right around the 32-yard line. Good discipline here by the defense, stringing the option out and plugging the running lanes. That moved them back. Third down now, and they need to get it to the 26. Well, after that injury, we'll get to see the backup quarterback here. He's on the run. Picks up the loose ball. What was most impressive is how he followed the play and he just didn't give up on it. It was that effort that allowed him to come away with the fumble. We're set to get restarted as the offense looks to build on the success of their field goal on the last drive. Taken down at the 17-yard line. I don't think the play developed the way it was supposed to, and the net result is a loss. Zips it to the back, and he's hit before he can go anywhere. So with one quarter remaining, the Bulldogs lead 30-14. Back in this very pivotal fourth quarter. Over the middle to his tailback. Well, this offense has got to be elated. This is what they had hoped for. A stop by their defense just to give them a chance. The punting team's got to give their kicker some time. Last time the offense had it, they lost a fumble. So I'm pretty sure the coaching staff was over there talking about ball security. The first rule on offense is to take care of the football. These guys need to remember that on this drive. And they make the stop at the 38-yard line. He rumbles ahead for about three yards there on the option play. Pitches out and the ball is up for grabs. And no one can get it. It bounces out of bounds. Third down now, and they need to get it down to the 31. Here we go, here we go. Mike's 50, Mike's 50. Throws a bullet. This one will fall incomplete. You never know what will happen when the ball ricochets like that. Good effort by the defender. That makes it fourth and long. it out to maybe the 29-yard line. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. And he's tackled after positive yardage. And he throws it away. They need about three yards to get the first down here on third down. And down he goes at the 36 yard line.
Oh, man, did he take a hit. They'll take over here, ready to start a new series. He's scrambling. And now the ball is loose. One of the wide receivers picks up the fumble. Six-yard line. Just under three to go in regulation. Wants to go long and done. Second down and ten to go. Ball on the 36. Scrambling. Good open field tackle. The quarterback didn't see anybody open downfield, so he took it himself and picked up some decent yardage. And he's tackled at about the 21. Tries to buy some time. Gets to about the 17 yard line. He holds on to it and gets maybe two yards. Really confident play by the freshman corner. He sized it up quickly and made a sure tackle. Zips it over the middle, and that one's fallen incomplete. Number 81, the intended receiver on the play. It's fourth down, and the offense is getting set to go for it. He's brought down in the open field. Just under two minutes in the game. The lineman got a little ahead of the snap count. Here's the call. False start. Offense. Sometimes what happens on a false start is a lineman will see movement on the other side of the ball and be coaxed into jumping early. From the seven-yard line, it's second down. Halfback's got it on the quick throw. Touchdown, Navy! That'll be a big boost. You always want to capitalize on these short yardage situations, and that pass was an excellent call. So the kicker is going to stay on the sidelines. These guys will try for a two-point conversion. He's got it for two. I wonder if they might have just clenched it. If they could be careful with the ball, they could be able to run out the clock. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. Feeds it to the back. 
He makes it to the 42-yard line. A two-yard run by the halfback. Boy, the senior linebacker's experience really showed on that run. He sniffed it out perfectly and made the tackle. He's got an opening. He's at the 30, and he's shoved out of bounds at the 28. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 28-yard line. Just over a minute in the fourth quarter. Runs outside for a nice game. Navy's going to have to use their second time out of the half. He's got the corner. Navy will use their final timeout. If you can consistently run effectively like this, it'll force the defense to pay more attention to the run, and that creates chances in the play-action passing game. And this should be a kneel down as they just try to kill the clock. We're down to just a minute in this game. it to the five. This guy just made those ten yards look easy. That'll bring up third and two. Mississippi State staff just dancing on the sideline. Their star player came through for them, and they couldn't be happy. Well, the staff has to feel good. The entire team should feel good. And I know you and I just having a chance to sit back and, and watch this young man play. Uh, just an outstanding performance and something that this entire team will be able to build on. That brings this broadcast to a close. For EA Sports and Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Brad Nessler. We'll see you soon for another edition of NCAA Football 14.